under my bed. I'm like, is Misha Barton under my bed? I, 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 is I, she? I, uh, Megan. Megan. Should we, should we start off with like an apology to all the Megans around the world? No, but some of them are really like Megan the Stallion embraced it in a big way. We were so excited. Right. But yes, to all the Megan, to any Megan, especially people who spell their name M3GAN. <laughs> I'm so sorry for what we're about to cause. I life. can't I can't wait for audiences to see it, it because so much of this is the reality of possibly our future. I know, it feels close, right? Really close. Yeah. And you know, there's that big discussion with kids and iPads and screen time which you address in this movie, but yeah taking it to a whole new level with Megan. Is this the strangest co-star you've ever had? Uh, yeah, <laughs> by far, I'm happy to say. <laughs> by far, uh, the most unique uh, co-star experience I've ever had. Yeah, very different working with anyone else that I've ever worked with. And tell me about building that chemistry and rapport because there's not, like, I, Megan's not a real thing, but... I'm not going to spoil the magic, but what I will say is <laughs> by the time we filmed, I had spent so much time, like, thinking about Megan, looking at sketches of Megan, looking at, like, I had... Not that I had anything to do with actually, like, creating her physically, right. but the amount of time that we had spent talking about who she was and what she wanted and what, what made her... what motivated her as a, as a character allowed me to feel that sense of familiarity once we were working together. Yeah. It's a very weird way to talk about it. Um, but it, it, it still was uncanny, like throughout the experience. It was very strange, but yeah. And it's terrifying to think of an actual Megan existing, but we're not that far. I mean, my TikTok really feed has somehow been cured. Somehow in the algorithm, I have, you know, real AI workshops like Gemma worked in. Oh, really? Coming up and they're talking with their Megans and it's creepy. Yeah, it's but, close. But that we're video close. of the Boston Dynamics robot like jumping around and dancing and stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, what, we're there. We're there. And so a movie like this that doesn't take itself too seriously, yeah. but is kind of loosely based on where we're going in the future. What do you think Megan's going to leave audiences feeling? Well, I... I I think I learned from Jordan that you, Jordan Peele, that you don't try to like prescribe what you want audiences to leave talking about. However, I will say that I think that putting this subject area in a movie that is fun and doesn't take itself too seriously, but delivers, I hope, will allow people to talk about and engage with the subject matter. Right. Maybe in a way that they might not otherwise. It certainly is something we all need to think about and talk about because it's coming. Yeah. Um, how smart do we want things to be? What is our responsibility to anything with artificial intelligence once we've brought it into the world? What does it mean for it to be alive? You know, all of those things are questions we need to answer. Yeah. Or at least talk about as a society. And um, we haven't really done that, I don't no, think. No, not yet. Yeah. Now, when you were growing up, what terrified you the most? Was there an, oh, a thing, a being? Everything. Everything I saw that was scary had like a really long half-life in me. Like it would just sit in my psyche and <laughs> haunt me um, from The Exorcist to The Ring. Like I still to, um, uh, what's it called? Oh my God, I see dead people. Oh, Sixth Sense. Thank you. I still see, like, <laughs> under my bed. I'm like, is Misha Barton under my bed? I, 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 is she? I took a long time to get to putting my feet on the ground because yeah. I was terrified. Yeah, hands were going to, yeah. So all of that stuff scared me. Um, I think I didn't have, like, clowns. I didn't have a specific. It was just everything, all yeah. of the above, for sure. Yeah. I'm, I was a very scared kid. Yeah. The, the dark corner, and you're yeah. like, that's just my jacket, but is that a person? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or what happens when I leave? I know. Yeah. So creepy. Congratulations on the movie. Thank I think you. audiences are going to just enjoy the, the ride you take them on. I hope so. Oh. I feel like in, you know, in these times, to, to be like, go to a theater is a big ask. You know, I really think it is. However, I really feel confident that people will come out being like, I'm glad I did that. That was... Oh. I had a good experience. Yeah. And totally, I'm, I encourage it in theaters because you laugh at different yeah. parts. Yeah. And that's what I really enjoy. Yeah, I don't think people are expecting to laugh. Should we start with an apology to all Megans around the world? <laughs> yes, that's a good idea. James, you should really, you should really. Uh, what about yes. if you name your kid Megan like in September, before the before the trailer came out in <laughs> August? Like, I mean, I wonder if people, I wonder if anyone named an unborn child Megan and then the thing, and then they said, ah, let's do something else. Really, we gotta, we let's gotta change workshop it. that. We gotta change, we gotta change it. it. Well, well Megan the Stallion loved that, uh, that there's a horror character named after her. 
Who did? Who Megan? Did? Oh, Megan oh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Megan Stallion. Yes, yeah, she yes. loved that. Okay, so, maybe, so people, they have, maybe people added I, the name I Megan. actually uh, have found that a lot of people are super excited <laughs> to see a movie that's named after them. <laughs> Take it all I was, back. Yeah. I was texting one of my best friends, Megan, about this, and I was like, you got to see this. you got to check this out. And she's got a little girl, and it's very relevant. Wait, her name is Megan? Her name's friend? Megan. Was she excited, like James said? Now her yeah, name is going to be... Yeah, I think people uh, are excited. Good. Now, okay, you good. Know, so this, this story, I don't even know where to begin with production on this like I, I can't even imagine wrapping your head around people <laughs> let alone an AI character so so what goes into that and and what made you want to take on this story well I think you know for us um, you gotta treat Megan like she's just any other characters right so that you know she's treat her like she's a human because right. she is treated like a human character in the movie and so uh, so you kind of all the approaches about how you shoot an actor you know close-ups wide shots and all that stuff you, you gotta treat her like a real person because she is and uh, so the, the only tricky thing the only crafty thing that we we had to do or Gerard the director had to do you know and he did it really well is how to actually bring her to life because at the end of the right. day she's still just a doll. <laughs> I have to say the music selection for this too was just so perfect and moved the audience along and yeah. and I won't give away anything but there are some key elements that it was so fun to watch in theaters because you got the laughing, you got the moments, you got to feel this movie with the audience. So I highly recommend people go see this in theaters. We do too. Yes. Right? <laughs> it's you, it's yeah, definitely yeah. a movie. It's a great theatrical experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you want to yeah. see a film like this with a crowd because yeah. one moment it's scary and the next moment it's kind of funny as well and so like you, you know like, and that's what makes um, the kind of horror that works well in a theater is one minute you're sort of biting your nails hiding your eyes and you're screaming and jumping and then the next minute you know you're sort of laughing at something right to kind of right. break the tension Megan does that really well I think James also in Atomic Monster is really particularly good there's a there's a real connection between com comedy and horror if you look at the insidious movies that James did and and even the Conjuring movies, there's these yeah. moments that that are lighter. It makes the movies much scarier because the audience relaxes, they start right. to laugh, exactly. and then you scare them. You let yeah. your guard think, down a little. Yeah, and yes. I think James is really terrific <laughs> at that. I agree. Um, and lastly, when you were young, what scared you? What scared me? What, what scared you when you were I young? I was young. Uh, <laughs> I, the first thought that came into my head, I can't say. <laughs> okay, uh, that's, good. that's a good start. Uh, interesting, fascinating. Okay. Uh, well, it was a relative, it was a relative, it was a relative. Um, a uh, scary uncle? Uh, scared. I, can't, I, was scared of being, I was scared of being beat up at school. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's... I, was, I was scared. Of it. it happened too, so for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> and, and look at Janelle. That's right? right. That's the fun thing. But I think like this this generation. I mean, something like Megan is not far away. It's an AI. We're seeing it. My TikTok feed has mm -hmm. some live streams of AI yes. workshops. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I've been seeing some yeah, of that too. It's amazing. And that, that's yeah. the thing that I think um, you know make Megan really relevant right now is just um, you know uh, when, when we were designing the movie, we we felt like. That was kind of where the world was potentially moving into, and uh, and you know, and up until now, you know, most sort of um, evil doll or creepy doll movies tend to be of supernatural origin, right? right. And uh, so we want to do something different. We felt like you know the whole AI aspect of it is really the next wave, and, uh, and but there's so many things you can do, you know, in this world. Um, so you know, Megan is almost just like scratching the surface of what we can do in a bigger world. The Megan universe. The Megan universe. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> yeah, you hit that here first. That's right. The Megan universe. The Megan verse. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here, and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.